Welcome to the latest video about butterflies, where elegance and delicacy reign supreme. Get ready for a dose of colors, and crazy flights can be compared to playing with a shawl in the wind. Or better, to a drunken golfer spinning circles on the golf course. You'll get to know this extraordinary community. We're starting. So picture this. Once upon a time, there's this super chill caterpillar, right? Just munching away on leaves like there's no tomorrow, living its best life. Then, out of the blue, it decides it is time for a makeover. No more leafy diets and crawling around like a caterpillar-in-law at a picnic and turn into bug burrito getting ready for its big transformation. Then after a while, ta-da! Out pops this fabulous winged creature, the butterfly. Now it's all about flitting around, showing off those colorful wings and living its best butterfly life. Talk about a glow up. The most important attributes of butterflies are undoubtedly their colorful wings. Butterflies usually have two pairs of wings, giving a total of four wings. When it comes to the forces generated during flight, butterflies utilize a complex aerodynamic process to stay aloft. Through the movement of their wings, butterflies generate lift, which keeps them airborne. By adjusting the position and motion of their wings, butterflies can control their direction, speed, and altitude. Structurally, they consist of a two-layer membrane stretched over a scaffold of tubes, known as veins. The pattern and hue depend on scales that cover the wings in a manner resembling shingles. Hence, another name for the order of butterflies is Lepidoptera is an order of winged insects that includes butterflies and moths. About 180,000 species of Lepidoptera have been described, representing 10% of the total described species of living organisms. This makes Lepidoptera the second largest insect order behind Coleoptera, comprising 126 families, 46 superfamilies, and one of the most widespread and recognizable insect orders in the world. Scales, also colloquially referred to as pollen, are actually modified hairs and are found not only on the wings, but also on the body and legs. Ops, that's not what I meant. Most scales gradually expand, but some are very long and indeed resemble hairs. Each scale originates from a single cell and has a delicate stalk at the base that attaches it to the wing membrane. The attachment is not strong, so unfortunately scales tend to fall off quite easily. Regardless of their shape, scales are hollow and often filled with pigment derived from the food eaten by caterpillars or from metabolic products. That's why butterflies often have colors similar to the flowers in the environment where they live. Several classes of pigments are known, and the criterion for division mainly stems from different precursors from which they originate. The most common group is melanins, which produce colors ranging from black through brown and reddish brown to ochre yellow, and their production involves complex biochemical processes. Terrans, also known as purines, which are derivatives of uric acid, are found exclusively in the family of whites. They give rise to white, yellow, orange, and reddish colors. Well, I guess it's some kind of demon butterflies. Let's move on. Adaptive functions. The colorful wings of butterflies serve various adaptive functions, such as attracting mates, deterring predators, camouflage in the environment, and species identification. I mean, it's hard to live out there if everything want to eat you, and you looking like dancing drug queen on the middle of battlefield. Okay, let's focus. Where were we? Oh right, colorful wing patterns and pigmentation are therefore the result of selective pressure and adaptation to various environmental factors. In summary, the colorful wings of butterflies are the result of complex biological processes that include pigments, light-reflecting structures, and adaptive functions of the wings in the natural environment. Features are important for social behavior, survival, and reproduction of butterflies in their natural habitat. I mean, who's gonna fuck with snake or four-eyed monster, right? Or would wanna eat a dry leaf? I guess it's good strategy. However, butterflies cannot move if their wing muscles become too cold. Their bodies operate most effectively at an internal temperature of around 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like me, maybe I'm a butterfly? Anyway, muscular activity. Butterflies have muscles that control the movements of their wings. During flight, butterfly wings undergo rapid and rhythmic movements, generating heat through muscle activity. 
This is similar to how humans can warm up through intense physical exertion. Sun exposure. Butterflies often bask in the sun, especially in the morning or on cooler days to absorb solar heat. By spreading their wings and staying in sunny areas, they can effectively absorb solar energy, aiding in warming their bodies. Butterflies can also take advantage of heat generated in their surroundings, especially in warmer environments. If they are in an environment that is already quite warm, they can harness this energy to maintain their body temperature at an appropriate level. In the nature exists a certain special exotic species of butterfly. Greta Odo, also known as the glass wing or window butterfly, is a unique belonging to the Nymphalidae family. The genus of butterflies called Greta originates mainly from South America, especially countries like Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, and Colombia. Species from this genus can also be found in other regions of Latin America. What makes Greta Odo so special is its transparent wings, which are a unique feature of this species. The butterfly's wings lack classical pigmentation and are instead transparent, making them one of the most unusual among butterflies. This remarkable adaptation mechanism helps Greta Odo with camouflage and avoiding predators, although its effectiveness may vary depending on environmental conditions. The Greta Odo butterfly has also become popular among butterfly enthusiasts, collectors, and photographers because of its extraordinary beauty and unique characteristics. However, it is important to remember that protecting their natural habitats is crucial for the preservation of these beautiful creatures. Here's a joke. Why did the butterfly go to the therapist? Because it felt like it was going through metamorphosis.